Hello, everyone. Welcome to another screencast presentation. My name is Mitchell Parsonage. I'm an applications engineer at Moderna Design Centers in Cape Town. And I want to go through a very quick video today, <clears throat> just showing you the power and the application of global parameters in Revit. So if you're not too familiar with global parameters, what they basically allow you to do is control the value of other parameters globally. So for example, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to deal with the distances between door panels and walls. Okay, so for example, the first thing that I need to do to, to, to set up global parameter over here, well, I could go and actually just create the global parameter in isolation first, but what I like to do is firstly just get a dimension down. So I'm going to activate my dimension tool and I'm just going to dimension from the door panel to the wall. And I'm going to place it down. So this is purely accidental, but I actually want the distance of all of the doors in my project to be one meter away from the nearest internal wall like this. Okay, so that is the constraint that I want to set up. I want to take every single one of these doors. I want to dimension a distance from the door panel to the wall, whatever wall I want to constrain it to. And I want that distance to be one meter. Now, obviously, without global parameters, I would have to go individually and move every single door in my project to be a meter away from a wall. But what I can do here is, after creating that dimension, I'm going to select the dimension itself. So this is very similar to how you create parameters in your family edit environment. Select the dimension, come up here to my label dimension panel, and I'm going to select create parameter. So this create parameter option specifically creates a global parameter. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to give this parameter a name. So I will call this wall to door distance. I could obviously call it whatever I want to. Um, but this is fine for what I want it to be. And I can choose to group it under a certain um, section over here. Something about global parameters that we didn't know is that they are not accessed from the instance parameters and they're also not schedulable. Okay, so that's something that we must just uh, keep in mind as well. Okay, so that global parameter has been created. If I select my dimension, I will see a little pencil next to it. Um, that actually gives me the ability to edit that global parameter. So I could click on it and that would open up my global parameter section. Another way to do that would just be to go to my manage tab and select global parameters. Okay, that does the same thing. So if I now change this value right here from 1000 to let's say 1.5 and I click apply, I'll notice that my door changes its distance from one meter away to the wall to 1.5 meters away to the wall. So straight away you can see the power of this because not only can I just control that one door, but now I can go through my project and I can dimension every single door panel to whichever wall I want it to be associated to throughout my entire project. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly run through this, create a couple of dimensions, and if I've got a situation like this where I want the wall, the door panel to be associated to this wall, I'd obviously just want to maybe flip that door around and then create a dimension like that. Okay, so again, just going through here quickly, creating all of the necessary dimensions that I need to. And global parameters work specifically with dimensions. So I do need dimensions to be in place. Every door that I want to be controlled by this global parameter needs to have a dimension value associated to it. Okay, so just a couple more over here. I think one more. I think that is everything. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to give all of those dimensions the global parameter value that I've got over there. Okay, so the way that I do that is I just have to go through the process of selecting all of the dimensions that I have here associated to doors. Now, because I don't have any other dimensions in this project, okay, I've only got dimensions at the moment associated to doors. So I could just select one dimension, any dimension, and I could just right click, select all instances visible in view. And that would allow me to grab all of the dimensions that I have. Now, if I have dimensions associated specifically to walls, for instance, I couldn't really use this feature because it would grab those as well. And I don't want those to be included in the global parameter. So depending on what dimensions I have in my project, I would probably just hold down the control key on my keyboard and I would add multiple dimensions that way. 
Okay, but for this exercise, I'm going to select that dimension and I'm going to use the select all instances because that's all I have. And I'm going to hold down shift and just deselect that one because that one already has the global parameter. Okay, so with all of those dimensions selected, I'm going to come up here to my label dimension dialog, uh, sorry, my panel, and I'm going to select this drop down over here. I don't have to recreate that parameter because I have already created it. So it's already existing in my project. And now I can just associate all of these doors to that global parameter. And as soon as I click to add that parameter, notice that all of my doors adjust themselves to have this one meter distance away from the wall. And of course, I could go to my global parameters and I could update this value to maybe 1.5 meters, click OK, and all of the doors are going to adjust to be 1.5 meters away from the wall. Okay, and this is not, as the name suggests, this is not a view specific change. This is a global change. So if I go up to my level two floor plan and I have some doors up here as well. Okay, so just place one over there, one over there, and let's say one right here. And I give these the global parameter as well. So again, just dimension the door panel to the wall. Select all of my dimensions by holding down control and give them the wall to door distance global parameter. They are all obviously going to adjust. And if I go to my global parameters and I'll now, I'll now change that value to, let's say, 1.6 meters, those doors are obviously going to adjust as well as all of the doors on my level one floor plan will also become 1.6. Okay, so again, as the name suggests, this is a global change, not simply one view at a time. So this is a very, very handy parameter to know about just because it gives you the option to be very flexible if you have constraints like this that are quite standardized throughout your entire project for instance you could create a global parameter that makes sure that the distance from the underside of your floor slab to your ceiling is let's say a certain distance one meter 800 whatever that plenum space needs to be to contain your electrical features and your mechanical equipment and piping and ducting and all of those sorts of things as well so you can just standardize the distances of quite a number of different elements in your project. And you can also do some advanced techniques with global parameters as well, where you cause, let's say, the height of your window to adjust with the ceiling as it moves up or any other application like that. So this is just the simplistic version of what a global parameter is. And if you're not currently using it, it might be something that you want to look into if you've got a quite a symmetrical project and you've got multiple instances of doors or windows or ceilings or whatever it is that you want to control all at once. It's a very handy feature for that. That's all I wanted to show you today. I hope it was useful. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and have a good day further.